what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel we have this interesting question that says find all values of x given that x plus 1 or raised to the 4 plus x plus 5 or raised to the 4 is equal to 32. there is an interesting trick to solve this question whenever we have an expression like this the first thing we have to do is to know the midpoint between x plus 1 and x plus 5. Well, let's try to call that midpoint. So midpoint, let's call that u. And how do we get the midpoint between this and this? It is by adding them. So we have x plus 1 plus x plus 5. And then divide it by 2. When we do that, we're going to be having u to be x plus x, that is 2x, plus 1 plus 5 is 6 all over 2 we can actually separate the fraction so we have u to be equal to this is 2x divided by 2 plus 6 divided by 2 now this simplifies to give us the midpoint as these two cancels out so we have x plus 6 divided by 2 is 3 so our midpoint is x plus 3. Now let's rewrite what we have here and here. Here we have x plus 1. To get x plus 1 from here, I will have to subtract 2 from both sides. So I'll subtract 2, so u minus 2 equal to x. When I subtract 2 from here, I'll have 1. Very good. So our x plus 1 is same as u minus 2. So I write it here, u minus 2. That is the same as x plus 1. And this is raised to power 4. Plus, now here we have x plus 5. But let's come back here. To get x plus 5, I will have to add 2 to both sides. So adding 2, we have u plus 2 on the left equal to x. Now add 2, we're going to be having plus 5. So our x plus 5 is the same as u plus 2. So instead of this, I'll be writing u plus 2. And this is raised to power 4. This is equal to 32. Very good. When we look at the left-hand side closely, you see that it looks somewhat like a minus b raised to power 4 plus a plus b raised to power 4. Very good. Well, this has a famous identity of 2 times a to the power of 4 plus 6 times a squared times b squared plus b to the power 4. Very good. This is a famous identity. So let's use this identity to simplify the left hand side. If we compare, you see that our a is our u, then our b is these two we have here. Good. So we're going to be writing this like this. So we have 2 times a to the power 4. Remember our a is our u, so that will be u to the power 4 plus 6 times a squared, that is u squared times b squared. Our b is 2, so that will be 2 squared. Very good. Plus b to the power 4, that will be 2 to the power 4. Very good. So that is our left hand side and this is equal to 32. Now simplifying further, we divide both sides by 2, divide the left by 2, divide the right by 2. So these two can cancel out, leaving behind u to the power 4 plus, now 2 squared is 4 times 6u squared, that will be 24u squared. Very good. Plus, now 2 to the power 4 is actually 16. Equal to, now 32 divided by 2 is 16. Very good. Now let's subtract 16 from both sides. So subtract 16 from the left and subtract 16 from the right. So on subtracting, we have u to the power 4 plus 24u squared. Now 16 minus 16 is 0 equal to 16 minus 16 is 0. Very good. Now look closely that u squared is common. So we can factor out u squared. So factor out u squared. 
Now open bracket. U to power 4 divided by u squared, we have u squared. Plus 24u squared divided by u squared, we have 24. Very good. And this is equal to 0. So there are two cases from here. u squared is equal to 0 or u squared plus 24 is equal to 0. Now from this first case, when we take the square root of both sides to get rid of this square, we're going to have something like this. So square root of u squared equal to plus or minus the square root of 0. Now see that this square root cancels out the square. We have u to be equal to plus or minus the square root of 0 is 0. So we have the value of u to be 0. Now for this second case, let's call this case 2. We move 24 to the right hand side so that we have u squared equal to negative 24. Now take the square root of both sides to get rid of this square. So the square root of u squared equal to plus or minus the square root of negative 24. So notice that this square root cancels out the square. So we have u to be equal to plus or minus. Well, we can actually break down this negative 24 to be 4 times 6 times negative 1. Good. And we can simplify further by writing it as the square root of 4 times the square root of 6 times the square root of negative 1. So this will result to u being equal to plus or minus. The square root of 4 is 2 times the square root of 6 times the square root of negative 1 is i. So we have two values of u from here. Now recall that u is our midpoint, that u is equal to x plus 3. Now since we're looking for x, let's make x the subject. So x will be equal to u minus 3 by subtracting 3 from both sides. So the value of x when u is equal to 0, this will be x equal to 0 minus 3 making x to be equal to negative 3. So we have one real solution for x. Now, let's do for when u is equal to, we're going to be taking the positive value first, or just let's just take the two of them. When u is equal to plus or minus 2 root 6i. So let's substitute here. Our value for x will be u, which is plus or minus 2 root 6i, minus 3. Good. I'm going to be writing this so that it looks very good. So x will be equal to, I'll write this first, which is negative 3 plus or minus 2 root 6i. Very good. It is better this way. Now let's separate them. So the third value, let's call this third because there are actually two values of x from here. So the third value is, we have negative 3, go with a plus, plus root 6i. Then the last value, which is the fourth value for x, will be equal to, we have negative 3. Now plus, okay, sorry, then we have the negative minus 2 roots. Sorry, this is 2 roots 6i. Very good. So these are the values for x. Now come to think of it, 0 can only be 0. So there are actually one solution for x here. This will be the second solution, where this is the third solution. There are actually three solutions for x. We have one real solution and two complex solutions. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.